Hey guys, <clears throat> this is Dinosaur Drawer, and this is the second part on how to draw the head of the Indominus Rex. So, actually, something went wrong. I wasn't paying attention to how long I was recording for already, and uh, <clears throat> that way my camera stopped recording. So, uh, I instantly stopped drawing, by the way, when that happened. So, what we could do now is draw a couple of dark kind of squares around his eye and it will kind of look like there are some dark scales around his eye Just like this. And then you can put a little bit of tone into it, of course. But make sure you leave those areas for highlights and stuff. Alright, so now we just want a little bit of tone into this part. There's a lot of shadow over here. And we actually want this shadow over here to go like this. It needs to be very dark as well. Alright, that should be fine for now. So now, I want to pay a little bit more attention to this part. We want to draw a couple of scales in right around this line. And when you are uh, going towards the, um, the point of his snout, the scales are getting tiny a little bit smaller then he has a couple of marks actually on his uh, on his face you can't really see them very well when uh, once the the skills are in place and you want this ridge to be very dark and detailed as well Now we're just going to put those skills in like this because we don't really have too much time anymore to put every single skill detailed uh, at its place. We're just going to fill this part up with a couple, a couple of those uh, skills like this. and then make it very dark and also around here we have a couple of those strange pointy skills getting very small over here we have about three rows of them but they are getting smaller and smaller and then they just disappear into being more normal skills
and then over here this actually goes kind of like this a lot of those bony kind of ridges and cracks and this horn is actually going to be darker on this side so we're just carefully putting in a little bit of shadow just like that and then a lot of tiny little scales that go from his horn to the rest of his snout or the rest of his head actually something like this and then we have a lot of uh, wrinkles actually still going on over here you have to pay attention to that as well you can make the scales a little bit smaller near the eye and um, this might actually become a three part uh, tutorial video I was hoping to just uh, keep it short and make a two part tutorial video but I don't think that's gonna work because every time I say that I'm not gonna do something I do it anyways I didn't mean for this video to be I mean I didn't mean for this drawing to be this detailed So yeah, just put a lot of rounded scales in there. And then again, we didn't even finish the shadowing. We need to put a little bit of shadow in. And this is actually kind of going on like this. So we do need to pay attention to that. And prob this detail will probably go to waste anyway. Because of the tone that uh, I want to get into this drawing. Alright, then around his uh, teeth, you can kind of put uh, a pattern down like this. You don't have to be precise at all. Because this is just the way that um, you can just put some very strange shapes and you don't need to pay too much attention to it. they kind of change into shapes like this over here at the back of his mouth and you can just put some scribbly lines everywhere otherwise we will just uh, 
be busy for too long with all those skills. Alright. And by the way, I could have actually made uh, those skilled parts, of me, I mean those parts, the same way. So it's kind of a shame that I didn't really. So now, <clears throat> I want to put a little bit of shadow in. So in between these two teeth, I want to put a little bit of shadow. Um, a little bit of detail so this line actually goes like this and there's one more line that actually goes like this this line goes a little bit more up now we have to make sure that everything else will get to the same kind of tone so there goes all the detail that we just put in. That's what I uh, meant with uh, when I was talking about uh, the detail going to waste. And in between those teeth, make sure you put a little bit of shadow in there. So these details that I'm drawing right now will actually kind of stay. And I'm not really paying attention to the way uh, that I, I, I don't really want every skill to turn out the same way. I'm just putting in some random kind of skills right now. It's really just, like I said, I'm just scribbling in some uh, half circles. Now I want to get a little bit shadow into these kind of skills because they do have some very three-dimensional shapes in them. So I'm not want to let that go to waste too much. And then just go over it with a certain tone, with the tone that you need. <coughs> So this is basically the part where I'm going to go over every individual skill that I just created and mess it up a little to get that tone that I need. Maybe I can even erase this a little so I can draw in some new, better kind of details that fits a little bit more to uh, the way that I drew all the other kind of skills. So there's still a little bit of them out there. It's just a little bit harder to see them. You really have to uh, make an effort to to see those little ones. And I believe that's actually kind of a little bit of a shame. It's just that um, I don't have a lot of time to do this. So normally I would take my time and create something special but right now that's not going to be the case 
and with normally I mean when I'm not recording. Those are the, the moments that I would call normal. In an ideal kind of situation. You kind of try to, uh, when you're getting to the back of his head, try to kind of fit those newer types of skills in so they kind of fit nicely and then you, you just darken in a couple of them to kind of give them a very dark look which is kind of what I want for right now and also I want these scales to also have a little bit of shadow on them but I'm not trying to make them look too dark because if I uh, make them too dark they won't really look three dimensional anymore Alright, so that's his upper jaw, now let's move on to his lower jaw. So his lower jaw actually, I'm going to first uh, create the bits of shadow, so I know uh, the kind of 3D aspect of the jaw. So this is kind of rounded a little bit, and then we have a lot of, a lot of shadow over here as well. So this is actually a part that is actually kind of rounded and then a lot of shadow over here again and also this part will be a little bit rounded so we have to pay attention to that and by the way we could also draw, his in, draw in his eye and when we're gonna draw in his eye, we're gonna do it like this and then get a little bit of a highlight in it you can't really see it too well But now you can and also a little bit of shadow over here all right so that makes his eye that gives his eye a little bit of more of a realistic look all right this shadow goes like this and then kind of goes like this and then this part is very dark alright so now it's time to try and get the pattern of uh, the skills that he has on his lower jaw which actually go kind of like this you need to pay attention to the uh, 3D aspect of his jaw so don't just draw straight lines and when we are approaching this part the lines kind of go like this so now we are approaching that part And the scales are getting closer and closer to each other as well. And then at the front of his jaw, the scales kind of go the same as over here. So 
So now you can just kind of random, well not completely randomly draw them in. You do have to pay a little bit attention to the way that you draw them in. But um, you don't really have to follow a horizontal kind of line for these scales. You might want to uh, not go too light on this because uh, when you're gonna draw the the shadow over it you will kind of lose your detail if you go too light but if you go too dark and you make mistakes it will be hard to uh, to erase and you will always have like a very unsharp area on your drawing it's really hard to explain, it's just like a blur when you're uh, shooting a picture um, and it, it, you, you don't focus enough then you have something like a blur in your picture well that's what it's going to look like when you're going to um, erase too much on this part and especially when you're going too dark it's just a personal preference whatever you like the best the way you like to draw just use your own um, your own way kind of and over here they're getting darker and darker there does seem to be a lot of shadow over there and the, the, the type of skills kind of change once you're getting closer to um, his uh, the, the tip of his lower jaw just gets kind of messier over here so that's why you should also go messy with those skills over here Don't be afraid to make it a little bit darker. So the reason that I'm putting very dark lines down here is because there's going to be a lot of shadow here. What we could do is also darken in those parts over here to kind of give it a Jurassic Park styled scale pattern but this is just optional I'm not sure if the Dominus Rex actually had those kind of scales I'm pretty sure he, he doesn't or she doesn't I mean There, the, the skills are really getting more random once you get to this part. And it's actually going to be quite hard to uh, get the right tone of shadow in on this part because uh, of the way that it looks right now. You don't want to erase too much detail but you still want to uh, make it look three-dimensional and make it look accurate so basically over here you have the same kind of thing that going on like over here a lot of lines going like this a lot of shadow And now we are going to put the right tone in. 
So um, the eye area is already very dark in this area. So that means that we do have to make this shadowy areas very dark. So yeah, we have a shadow that goes like this. Then we have a shadow over here. And then we have a little bit of a shadow over here. And I'm going around these scales to create this kind of shadow. So I don't go too much over the detail that I already have at that part. So I'm not going to touch it too much now anymore. I just want this part to be very dark, by the way. Maybe a little bit further. Alright, something like that. So, it's starting to look quite detail already and also by the way we have a couple of lines coming from over there a little bit more shadow over there which means a little bit more shadow over here as well and over here And I accidentally went a little bit too far with a couple of those lines. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Alright. And now I want to refine those lines. So what we want to do is make a small kind of bumpy look like this which will give it a more three-dimensional look later on and you don't have to erase that line because we um, this area is going to be quite dark so you won't really be able to see it anyways anymore and just continue on doing this so yeah it seems like I'm gonna make a third part about this and this is actually um, this part will be the fastest I guess and I'm gonna try to do as much as I can in this part so that the last part won't be I won't have to be too long. Alright, so now we're gonna do with all of those little spikes, we're gonna do the same thing as we did with this horn. Well, actually, I'm gonna end the video right here so I can still kind of do my outro before my camera stops recording. So um, yeah, I'm gonna make a third part about this. It's starting to look quite good already. And uh, yeah, alright. If you like the video, leave a like. Comment below what you think about the video and the drawing. And um, don't forget to subscribe. So, this was Dinosaur Drawer, and goodbye.